Okay, now I'm showing you the concept of polarization, the phenomenon of polarization. I'm looking at my iPhone through my sunglasses and my iPhone is uh, oriented vertically and I'm going to push the button here. You can see that the view is, uh, we, you can still see the, the display on the iPhone. Now I'm going to turn this uh, horizontally. I'm going to turn the, I, the iPhone horizontally. You're going to see that it's going to get a lot darker. This shows us the concept of polarization because the sunglasses tend to be vertically polarized. So when I turn the iPhone um, vertically, the electric field, the electromagnetic waves that bounce off the surface of the iPhone are, um, if the iPhone is uh, vertical, then the, those electromagnetic waves are vertically polarized and they can still go through the sunglasses the sunglass and penetrate through the sunglass but if the surface of the iPhone is horizontal the electromagnetic waves that bounce off the surface are now horizontally polarized and when they try to go through the sunglasses they're not going to be able to make it as much the intensity of the electromagnetic waves going through the sunglasses is going to be greatly diminished the reason that sunglasses are vertically polarized is that they try to minimize the glare that happens when sunlight hits surfaces such as the surface of a car roadways any kind of horizontal surface so by trying to minimize the horizontal they can do away with most of the glare from horizontal surfaces and so but they do allow the they do allow the vertical waves to penetrate through so this is a very important phenomenon known as polarization and shows how sunglasses are effectively made with vertical polarizers so that they will not allow horizontal electromagnetic waves to penetrate through